assalamu alaikum now let's start complex permanent tissue by the name complex is given to uh, these type of tissues because they are made up of two or more different kinds of cells but they work um, as a unit they work they they do a specific function so they are uh, specialized for a specific function but they are made up of different type of cells so xylem and phloem they are the two complex um, complex permanent tissue and they help in uh, transportation or the conduction of substances xylem is uh, water conducting tissue and phloem is food conducting tissue xylem uh, conducts water and mineral and phloem conducts food so xylem conduct in only in one direction means water and mineral is just uh, transported from root to the leaves so one di- one way direction because that is needed uh, for the for, um, formation of food only for the preparation of food so that is needed in the leaf so in one way direction but the food which is prepared in the leaf they th- that is um, that has to move in both the direction means every part of the plant needed food so it has to go upward in the downward all the direction so um, it moves uh, in uh, by direction upward as well as the downward direction so they are the conducting tissues and conducting tissues are also known as vascular tissues so they along uh, they along the entire length of the root stem and leaf it's the entire length of it they just uh, there so the xylem let's start from xylem xylem is made up of four type of cells uh, main uh, conducting tissues are uh, usually they are uh, tracheid and vessels but along with the tracheid and vessels two other type of cells are also there that is uh, xylem parenchyma and xylem, xylem fiber xylem parenchyma and xylem fiber so along with these tissue two more type of there and uh, the main conducting tissue are these only but uh, xylem fiber it uh, gives support it give mechanical strength and um, xylem parenchyma it store food so that it can provide at the need, uh, time of need so this uh, four type of cells form the xylem but the main conducting tissues are the xylem tracheid and the vessel they are in end to end means like this is the one cell this is another so here the end one end of the cell and this is the another and the end of the another cell so they and they place end to end and they are the thick wall because of the lignification means the lignin deposition occur in our inner wall of the cells so that's why they are the thick wall and uh, they are dead cells means uh, out of four cells of the xylem three are dead uh, tracheid vessel and xylem fiber they are dead only xylem parenchyma is living cell so uh, they are the thick wall cells they are uh, elongated they place end to end and protoplasm is not there it is absent in the dead cells it's present in the Uh, xylem parenchyma because that is living the uh, pits are present i told you already what are the pits pits are the hole which is present on the wall of the cell means at the time of lignification when the lignin deposition occur when the lignin deposition occur these are the part where the lignification will not occur where the lignin uh, deposition of lignin is not occur and later on protoplasm is also degenerate as a result holes are formed on the wall of the cell these holes are known as pits so um, this is xylem and its function is to uh, conduct water and mineral now um, let's see phloem phloem is also made up of four type of cells um, main conducting tissues are sieve tube and companion cells here you see sieve tube and companion cell and two other type of cell that is phloem parenchyma and phloem fiber so main conducting tissue means the food conducting tissues are the sieve tube the sieve tube cells and the companion cell and here the special feature of sieve tube cell is that the transverse wall of the sieve tube cell is uh, you see here this one uh, this trans- this is called sieve plate means they are having the pores in it this wall is pierced and forms a pore in it 
so the, these pores give the shape of uh, sieve so sieve plates are present at the um, end of the um, cell or you can say the transverse wall is the um, uh, pierced uh, and forms a pore on it it gives the appearance of the sieve uh, plate so sieve plates are present at the end of the sieve tube that have been transportation but here when you talk about vessels in the xylem the transfer wall is degenerate it forms the continuous uh, pipe like structure means these are the cells one cell two cell three cells so here the transfer wall is degenerate this one wall is degenerate and it forms the continuous column like a structure continuous tube like a structure or pipe like a structure but here they are uh, the sieves they, uh, they are the sieve uh, plates they are the pores in it they, they, the hole is not degenerated some of the part is degenerate and forms the hole, hole in it so this is the difference between uh, sieve plate no, sieve tube cells and the vessels so four type of cells are there in the floor sieve tube cells spontaneous cells they are the main conducting tissue and along with that phloem fiber and phloem parenchyma phloem fiber it gives the strength as in xylem it gives and the same way like xylem and xylem fiber and phloem parenchyma uh,